Okay, good morning. I have made some coffee, got myself ready for the day, and I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping. I need to go by Ulta because they're having their 21 Days of Beauty and I wanna get something. And then I did not realize there was a World Market like in this area. I have got to go. I have not been to World Market in probably like two or three years. And it's one of my very favorite stores. So we're gonna go there. It's kind of near Home Goods. Might run in there. Probably gonna stop by Target. I'm just gonna have a fun little shopping day, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Okay, I honestly cannot believe it. I went into Walmart looking for two very specific things and y'all know half the time they like don't have what I'm looking for, but today they had both of them. So I'm so excited. I'll show you what I got once I get home, but I'm sure you can already guess one of the things that I got. Um, but anyway, I was gonna go to World Market and Home Goods. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go to one or the other. I might just go to Home Goods, honestly, because it's like lunchtime and I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm sure Bunky's pretty hungry. I feel like I should get us lunch and take it home. I haven't decided yet. Y'all, I did not even go to Home Goods or World Market. I went to Publix. I got Monkey and I a pub sub for lunch and brought it back home. We had lunch together and I've just been doing work ever since. Um, let me tell you what I get from Publix, okay? And tell me how you like your pub sub, but I get the chicken tender rolled in or tossed in hot sauce and then I get them to sprinkle blue cheese on top and then they bake it. How do they say it? Toast it. Toast it, make it warm. And then when they bring it out, I get them to do like a drizzle of ranch. It is so good. It's so good. If you haven't had it, you gotta try it. Bunny got the Italian. Are you calling me Bunny? I said Bunky. <laughs> Did it sound like I said Bunny? Yes. Bunky. And the first time it sounded like you called me Monkey. Well, you're a bunny, which is a bunny and a monkey. Okay, but let me show y'all what I did get this morning. So, first of all, I have not shopped at Kohl's in forever, like years, like 10 plus years. But I went in there a couple of weeks ago. Bunky needed some like dress slacks and then I saw this beautiful dress that I loved, yada, yada, yada. Well, anyway, I ended up getting Kohl's cash. Well, because I got that, I was like, oh, I can go spend my Kohl's cash. Y'all, it's the coolest thing ever. I had $30 Kohl's cash, and so I got this pillow, and I only paid $6. It was so exciting, I was so excited. Not that we need another pillow, but we kind of do that, don't we, monkey? Do you agree? Um, I need to see this pillow first. Okay, so I got this four hour um, couch in our living room. Hang on, let's see. Which way it goes up? Okay. Isn't it pretty? I do like the uh, pattern we got going it's there. It's beautiful. It's blue. It's a choppy pillow. Well, like you can chop it good. Well, hopefully Daisy doesn't chop on it. Well, that's the problem. Is see, Daisy is the queen of this household, and she loves pillows, and she loves to, like sit on top of them so she can like be up high and see see us. You know, see everything going o on over the couch. Yeah. And, and, so, and it's probably feels like a cloud to her, so. Yeah, she's like the most comfortable person in the whole world, okay? Yeah. So anyway, all of our pillows are like ruined. But anywho, this one is like our color. It's so pretty. It's coastal. You need to have a conversation with Daisy about her pillow antics. I'm going to tell her this one is off limits. Yeah. <laughs> but $6, that was such a good deal. Now for Walmart. I told y'all that you probably already know the first thing that I got. I'm sure you do. But someone, one of you guys actually tagged me in a picture on Instagram this weekend because you had went to Walmart and they had new Bubba's out. And I was like, I have to get this one because it's like, so Jessica, but the orange and pink, are you kidding me? It's yeah. beautiful. When you pulled that out, I was, uh, I mean, it, it, it just screams bunky. Yes, it does. Like y'all, I cannot get over it. 
then, remember I told you guys. Oh Lord, I see what's in that bag. What? Shoes. Footwear. <laughs> okay, I told y'all that I went in there for two specific things. So that cup, and then I saw someone share these shoes and I fell in love with them. I had to get them and they have. They're like, you know, super comfy slides, black and white, mm -hmm. but look, they're like platforms. Are they not so cool? They're so cool. Those are pretty cool. They're so cool. Like, I love them. <laughs> and they were $14.98. And they come in plain white, plain black, and then they have like a really pretty, almost like pinkish purple tie-dyed color. Wow. They're really cool, but I love the black and white. Like, these are so fun. And the last thing that I got is this beautiful beach cover-up. Is this not wow. so pretty? I do like that too. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. Now I like that it ties right here so you can kind of make it like as tight or as loose as you want to, like as fitting or not fitting. The colors, the sleeves. Oh. Matches my bubba. Yeah, it does. This was so fun. And this was, I think. You got like a whole outfit. You can wear your black and white speckled shoes with that cover up in your bubba. Yeah, but the black and white circled shoes don't go with this, but <laughs> I agree. was trying. Agree. Was trying. This and the Bubba. Y'all, Walmart has the cutest stuff right now. The cutest stuff ever. It's so it's so precious. Good morning, I have got my water. I'm gonna go get my steps in today. It is beautiful and sunny, which it's been pretty cloudy here for like days on end. So since it's sunny, I'm gonna go try and get my exercise. Plus on Wednesdays, my favorite podcast is released. So I want to talk podcast. And my reward is walking to Brown Fox to get coffee, but it's a little chilly outside. So I'm all bundled up. I'm gonna go get coffee when he's making his coffee in the percolator. But I want like a good Brown Fox iced, Creme brulee latte, so good. This is actually the next day. I did not film any more yesterday because we got busy and then our friends from our RV tracks, they came over last night. We went to dinner. We had the best time. They're leaving on Friday for their big trip like out west cross country and they're going to have the most epic adventure ever. I cannot wait to follow along with them. I'm, I'm like going to live vicariously through them. So anyways, I will link their channel down below for you guys so you can follow along too. They're the sweetest, best family ever. So anyway, we had so much fun. And then this morning, I got up, went for a little walk, got ready, and then Monkey and I are crazy. We are crazy. Are we, we are. not? Mm -hmm. We're crazy. Because you guys know we are obsessed with like looking at RVs, touring them, watching RV videos. And we found a fifth wheel that we really, really like. So it's Spunky's lunch break right now. And we are gonna drive to Campers Inn and go take a tour of it really fast. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, show you the tour of it. And then this afternoon, we're gonna make my mom's one cup cobbler. Are you prepared for this? I am and I am not prepared. I don't think I'm prepared. I'm not either. We're, we're, we're saying this because we're so excited. Like, we feel like we're going to buy this today, but we're really not. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, there is no purchase happening today. No. But guess what Research. They, guess what they had when we pulled up? Y'all, they have an Airstream. Mm -hmm. I got to go see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we are definitely going inside of it just to see what one of those feels like I on the inside. See. So 
so this is the floor plan that we love and the whole reason that we came to look at RVs. and this is a brand new camper but they actually have a newer model that has a more like updated interior which we like so much better this one still has like a lot of the darker wood which makes it feel a little bit dark inside and then it also had carpet in the bedroom and we do not want carpet in our camper so we love this floor plan and we may or may not have a surprise to share with you next week but we also went to see this other floor plan which was a front living and i fell in love with it we honestly would have probably picked that camper but it was kind of at the top of our towing capacity and we wanted to make sure that we are still safe pulling it with the truck that we have Okay, y'all, we are finally gonna make this cobbler. Bunky's cousin came over the weekend with his daughter and I was gonna wait so that she and I could make it together and then we never ended up making it. So today's the day. I gotta make it before my blackberries go bad. So we're gonna make my mom's like one cup cobbler and then we also have some steaks. So Bunky is going to grill us some steaks and then y'all know how I love my zucchini fries. And I feel like especially this time of year is like when I start making them a lot, you know, baking them in the oven. Oh my goodness. They are delicious. But I was on Instagram and I saw this girl make a whipped feta dip with her zucchini fries. And I was like, hang on, we got to try this. It's like Greek yogurt, lemon, garlic, feta, some like spices. Y'all, you already know. Like, mouth jet's going, it's gonna be so good. I was like, we have to make zucchini fries just so I can make this dip with them. So, we're gonna make all of that today. I'm gonna get started on the cobbler first. Bunky will get the grill going, and we'll get everything cooking. Okay, so for one cup cobbler, here is what you need. Grab your 9 by 13 You're gonna need one cup of whatever fruit you want. So, I'm gonna do blackberries. You can do blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, whatever you like. And I do put more than one cup. I'll probably do like almost both of these containers. And then one cup of milk, one stick of butter, one cup of sugar, and one cup of um, self-rising flour. That is all. But we need melted butter. And since I don't have a microwave, and this is mom's way of doing it too, we're gonna preheat the oven to 375 and I'm just gonna unwrap my butter, stick it in my um, baking dish and let it melt while the oven comes up to temperature. So by the time your oven comes up to temperature, your butter should be perfectly melted. So to my butter, I'm gonna add one cup of sugar, one cup of self-rising flour, and it does have to be self-rising, so make sure you don't do all purpose. One cup of milk. Go ahead and kind of give this a little whisk and start incorporating all of this. You know, it might be great if you sift your flour, but if you don't, it's okay too. <laughs> Well, I think like with a cobbler though, sometimes like what's good about it is the little, like I don't mind the little lumps when it comes to cobbler. I agree. Because it kind of just give, provides that little variety of texture. Yes. Okay, now we just sprinkle in all of our blackberries. And like I said, you can do one cup or if you want more than one cup, you do however many your heart's desire or whatever fruit you want to use. How's that? We need one right there. I feel like the more, the better. So we just popped it in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes and then it'll be golden brown delicious. Do we have ice cream? <gasps> we do not have vanilla ice cream. We have, we have cookie dough. You can't eat cookie dough ice cream with blackberry cobbler. Y'all, you can eat cookie dough ice cream on anything, okay? Someone is supposed to be getting the grill going, but instead he's out here. <laughs> Putting off the patio. Funky. 
We're trying to eat. You gotta have a clean patio cooking experience. You can't come in and out tracking all these little pollen bombs in. Oh my goodness. Also, please ignore the mattress pad <laughs> in our kitchen. We washed it and then, because, you know, it had been a while. It needed to be washed. And then we tried to um, dry it and it was just so big. We feel like it was going to like catch the dryer on fire. So we put it over here on chairs and it is taking days to dry because it's like so thick. Okay, now we're going to get started on our zucchini. I'm going to go ahead and wash these and then I'll just cut them into like little fry shaped zucchini fries. <laughs> However you say that. We're just going to start with two because I feel like that's probably all that we need for just me and Donkey. So I just slice my little tips off on both sides, stand it up and then go down the center. And I cut each half in half, flip it over, cut each half in half again along the seam. Then I cut that in half and you have the perfect little fry shape. And sometimes you don't get it quite even, so you have to adjust. <laughs> you believe that this is just like two little zucchinis. It makes so many fries. We still have the other two here that we can make something else with. And then over here, I have my little dredging station that I'm getting set up. So I have my flour. I'm gonna add some of the blend to it. So salt, pepper, and garlic. I have my eggs. And then I'm gonna do, because you guys know I love, like half breadcrumbs, half panko. And then to season that, I'm sure you can guess. I'm going to do cracked pepper parmesan and then some of the garlic herb, sea salt, and lemon. And while I'm over here, i got to show y'all. So we went to Barefoot Landing um, over in North Myrtle this weekend. And they have this store called the Olive Shop. And it's like all of these really nice olive oils that are flavored. They're delicious. But they also have these like balsamic vinegars and different flavors. Y'all know I love fig. So this is a ripe fig aged balsamic. It is is delicious okay you put this like over a salad or mozzarella burrata toasted buttery bread like all kinds of things it is scrumptious they're like very nice you know last you a long time use a little bit but so good anyway i'm gonna get <laughs> this zucchini all breaded up Okay, I just thought of something. Normally, I would put like some fresh grated Parmesan. Oh gosh, as I make a mess. <laughs> it is my um, breadcrumb mixture. But since we're gonna do the feta dip, I guess I'm gonna skip out on that this time. Although, I don't think it'll be bad with Parmesan and feta. The timer just went off. I think our cobbler is done. Oh, yeah. How's it look? Oh, that looks great. <gasps> Punky. Check that. Oh my word, that looks so good. It smells so good. Between the steak, zucchini fries, and that cobbler, we are having a delicious meal. We're having a feast. So Bunky has our steaks. We have one, I think this is a T-bone, right? That's a bone-in ribeye. Bone-in ribeye and then New York strip. New York strip. What are you going to season them with? We got the blend here. And do you want to just put cracked pepper parmesan on or do you want, oh no, prime steak. Yeah, let's do some prime steak. So we'll prime steak a little bit of the blend. With black garlic and truffle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was making this cobbler like a little reel for Instagram, so I already dug into it. Y'all, we'll, we'll just go ask Bunky how good it is. And I love like all the crusty parts. Insane. The steak's already done? 
Yes, Bunky, look at that thing. Wow. We even turned this one on its uh, side. Ow! It's hot. It's only about 650 over top of that. <laughs> Fork not the best tool here. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. We gotta let these rest. All the zucchini keeps cooking. Look at those steaks. They look amazing. Okay, so I just put a little bit of blue cheese on my steak while it sits there and rests while our zucchini fries finish. Who said you get the ribeye? <laughs> I just picked it. I like you. I do like New York strip. Yeah, I love the ribeye. Um, thoughts on the cobbler? You know, it never ceases to amaze me how good a cobbler can turn out. And one of the best parts, in my opinion, is kind of the the part that just turns into the little bit of like the, the goopy, you know, where the, the flour and sugar and stuff have kind of mixed together, mm -hmm. but not necessarily like fully cooked, but that's okay. And they just turn into this wonderful, I'd say it's almost just like a batter, Ooh. but it's delicious. Yes, y'all, that cobbler is so good and you saw like it is the easiest thing ever. We're having a dessert before dinner today we did have dessert before dinner okay now we gotta make our feta whipped dip mm. so once again i have my tiny little food processor i just have some like um non-fat greek yogurt that i'm gonna add in here and it's just plain no flavor i just have this small little cup because i figured that would be plenty for our dip okay so add that in and then as far as feta goes i have some regular feta and then I also have a little bit of this garlic and herb, so that's gonna give it even more flavor. I'm gonna hit it with just a little squeeze of lemon juice, and then also some lemon zest. Y'all always say, do you have your salt in your pepper container? Yes, because we never use this for pepper, so actually have my salt in here because the other salt container has our like big chunky sea salt this is like my regular salt okay a little pinch of salt in there it has maldon flaky sea salt maldon yes a little crack of pepper a little bit of oregano and then the recipe calls for mint but i don't really love the flavor of mint so i'm just going to add a little bit of thyme in there Okay, we're gonna pop a lid on this and then drizzle in like two tablespoons. Oh, hang on, we have to have garlic. I'm just gonna use my microplane and grate this garlic in. Okay, just one clove. Okay, now we'll pop a lid on and then drizzle in our olive oil. Yeah, that looks amazing. You are about to lose your mind. <laughs> Do you know what this would, would have been good with? Steak. Well, steak, <laughs> dipping your steak in this, yes. But Bunky, the kava bowls, uh -huh. this almost tastes like that garlic sauce, but like a thousand times easier to make. Yeah. You're going to lose your mind. Oh boy. Mmm. I love the texture we got going here. Y'all, that sauce is insane. Like, I want to put it on so many things. Now we can just never have zucchini fries without this. <laughs> that is so good. It's like so flavorful, but not like overpowering. I'm glad we just did one garlic clove. Oh yeah. Throw a little bit of lemon juice in there though, it's like... Really good. Give it a little zip a zap zing. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Let me just tell you, this is just like a great dip for all vegetables. I can see you running just about anything through this. Peppers, and cucumbers, would... anything. Oh my gosh, cucumbers would be so good in this. Yeah, I'm about to dip my steak in that. I like how they, like these are still warm and this is cool. So it kind of gives you like the contrasting. Yes. It's like a cooling element. And it's not, the thing I like about feta, or maybe the Greek yogurt kind of like balances it out some, 
It's yeah. not overly cheesy or like strong. Yeah. It kind of just really smooth. calms it down. Yeah, it's like a smooth. It's almost like a sour cream type thing, but it's really like really flavorful. Y'all, that's like crazy good. Crazy good. Mmm. I can the see myself. The texture is insane. Mm-hmm. You hear the crunch of those zucchini fries? I love these. Me too. You can see yourself what? Requesting this quite often. Mm-hmm. Delicious. This is the best lunch and dessert ever. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that dip is like insane. It's so good. Dipping your steak in there is the biggest game changer. I don't know that I can eat steak without it now. Those are kidney fries. Anything, everything, like you have to make that dip. It was so, so scrumptious. So I'm gonna get this kitchen cleaned up. I will see y'all later this week for another video. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love you so very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you later. Bye y'all.